how does a how does an athlete uh, from your perspective as an agent when is it time to part ways with an athlete for me like to yeah. fire a client <laughs> Yeah, what well, I'm just curious on what something like that would be like. What would a player? Obviously, I, I, here's the thing I would assume: number one, they play bad, or something happens. Let's say criminally, you know, where it, maybe it doesn't look good for your guys' brand to have an athlete like that. But I would like to just know from your words, you know, what would that be like to part ways with with a client? Yeah, that's a good question. Unfortunately, I've never had to up to this uh, point. Okay. Knock on wood. <laughs> but I think kind of just those the non-negotiables is, you know, if you're if you're hearing, I mean, poaching happens a lot in the business. That's just what it is. Um, but I would just say, you know, if it's if it becomes a reoccurring thing where your client is, you know, seeking outside parties for, you know, advice, help, jobs, I think that kind of breaks the level of trust between the agent and the player. And um, I would just say if there's un, just too lofty of expectations, you know, one thing, like I said, we really pride ourselves on is just being honest. You know, I'd rather me tell you you're a low division Switzerland guy than for you to get the off, than for me to blow smoke up your butt and you get an offer for $500 and you're mad at me because, you know, I'm, think, I'm telling you that you're better than you are. So I would just say if, if someone has too high of an expectation, you know, sometimes those people you just can't get through to. So you just kind of have to, you know, cut those losses while you can. And two, uh, another thing I would say is just if if the client is just too troublesome for you, you know, like I said, you just have to look at it from a business perspective. If you're putting more effort into worrying about what is he going to do after the game to get into trouble, then you then I think that's a situation you got to stay as, away from as much as you can. You know, obviously, it depends on the player too. You know, if I'm if I'm representing Zion Williams, and he you know gets in a fight at the club, I might be a little bit more understanding to him than you know my mid level G League guy who's a decent player. You know, getting in a fight. You know, it, so it kind of just depends on the player. You know, it's it's kind of a it's, might be a messed up thing to say, but just as you, you said, Cam, you just have to look at it from a business perspective. You know, what is this person, what is the value that this person has? You know, what would it mean for me to lose this person? And two, is this something that I can recover from, you know, without losing too much? So, um, yeah, those would kind of be the things for me. Like I said, I haven't had to fire anyone yet. I pray that it stays that way, but um, those are kind of the things that I would go with, you know, if it becomes too much of a headache, you know, and it's taken away too much from, you know, your ability to, to work and, you know, to differentiate work from personal, then I think you, you have to cut ties with that situation.